Hi, I'm Tim Green and in this fourth instalment of my look at repairable atomizers we're going to look at the Bully A2. Uh, now the Bully A2 is the one really that I think most people are familiar with. They've heard of it or seen it about and I think it's the, uh, the atomizer that really brought it home to many that repairable atomizers um, were, were viable. Uh, as a product uh, and as a tool. So let's have a quick look at the Bully A2 and let's talk some more about it. Now this is the A2 um, and it's basically comprised of three sections. You have your, the business end um, which is your, your atomizer section. Um, now this comes in a range of fittings 5, 10, 901 and 801 um, and it's the usual kind of arrangement that we've seen before um, on repairable atomizers, where you have basically a positive and a negative terminal, um, uh, a wick and wire arrangement that, uh, that goes between the two and acts as the atomizer. Um, this sits inside this uh, stainless steel tube. Now, I will say that... Uh, on the Bully website, you've got a choice between stainless steel or aluminium. Um, I have had both. Um, of the two, the stainless steel one does actually get hotter. The tube gets hotter, but I stuck with I've stuck stuck with the stainless steel one because it's stainless steel. It's not a soft metal. It's going to last a lifetime. Aluminium. Um, there's nothing at all wrong with it. I've, I've seen people talk about their concerns of aluminium oxide and, and, and what have you. But there are a lot of aluminium mods um, and atomizers, and I don't see it being a huge problem personally. But if it is something that bothers you, you, have, you, know, you can use stainless steel. Um, it's basically a stainless steel tube with a little bit of a decorative threading there and bully smoker uh, stamped on the side. Um, the third section is your cartridge. Now this is a standard 701 cartridge. You've probably seen these before in um, electronic cigars. That's where they're most commonly used. Um, comes with a a white sleeve that screws over it and it all sits inside like a mini cigar shaped looking uh, plastic tube. You basically you add your liquid into here um, when it's all assembled together um, the wick from here makes contact with the filler in the cartridge and that's all that it needs it then draws down the liquid uh, by a capillary action very simple, very effective, very few processes involved that actually taint or take away from the flavour as well. Um, tank systems, for example, they have a spike with a stainless steel mesh inside and the tank cart itself, which is in plastic. Um, with those, the, the liquid runs through the spike, which has got stainless steel in it, which then runs down to the small bit of wick that then feeds the element. Now, that for me affects the flavour and I think the forums are bound with people who say this tank atomizer is stripping away the flavour of my juice. Um, I know I've experienced it time and time again and I know others have too. Uh, but no such um, issue goes on here. Now, one thing I do like, uh, I mean this is the kit as you get it, there are options, there are things you can do, for example, um, setting on the Bully website does a stainless steel, uh, sorry, an aluminium uh, sleeve for um, the Bully, which allows you to sit the, uh, the Bully on an ego. Um, just get that here in shot. There we go, I was just taking it off my battery. And that's all it is. That's an, that, that's an additional extra. So unlike the Mark T bug, where 
this part actually comes with it this you have to pay extra for it is expensive um, I think it's about seven euros maybe a bit more than that for a piece of aluminium I think that's a bit much uh, I'm not sure about the price I haven't confirmed it I think it might even be more than seven euros the one thing I do like about it um, is that genuine ego uh, joy ego battery there fits nicely like so um, I also like to use the variable voltage uh, batteries which at this moment in time are all um, ego compatible they're not actual genuine joy batteries and you know what it fits on there too which um, the same piece on the Mark T bug doesn't. You can get two turns on there, and that's it. So I mean, that's that's what that's one advantage with it, I suppose. The other advantage is that you can get uh, something else. You can get a 701 to drip tip adapter. So which is this? Now that uh, came from I think it was VaporAge.com. Um, and I really like it. It's actually transformed using the Bully A2 for me. So what you do with that is you take this bottom section off the cartridge. You just, it just pulls right off. And what you have to do, and this was a tip that uh, Maz from uh, the forums gave, is you have to just squeeze in. That, that is a circle. And get a pair of pliers and just squeeze it and make it into an oval. And once it's an oval, you can just clip it in, and that's it. I'm just getting the uh, heat liquid all over my fingers there. Once you have it all set up, you can take your favourite drip tip, and there you go. Now, aesthetically, much better. But what I will do as far as the aesthetics are concerned, I'm not going to take into account this when I when I do my scores. I'm not just going to give you the scores based on the standard uh, kit because that's what I've been doing with all the others. I think it'd be unfair to take into account the add-on. Um, so what I'll do here, I like to have a fairly uh, long uh, wick in the A2 just to make sure it is wicking well. Uh, some there are there are various types different ways that you can construct the wick. Um, I've seen uh, ways of doing it with loops, and then you take an additional piece of wick and uh, tie the loops together so that they sit upright. I just can't be bothered with all that. I just do extra long uh, loops uh, to make sure that they may they make contact with the cartridge. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that cart off there. And I'm going to take that cart off there because I don't want to corrupt the uh, the results any. That's an empty cart. That's a full cart. I put the empty the full one onto there, so that's all ready to use. Like so. I will show you what it looks like um, with the standard drip tip on, with the a drip tip adapter and the uh, the Ming drip tip on, if you like. But that's the way that I am going to base my scores on it, just like that. Now, some people don't like these types of mouthpieces, which is why I wanted to mention the adapter. Um, but let's, uh, let's attach this to the Bravari, uh, check the resistance, set the voltage, and I'll show you how it vapes. And please excuse me, I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, so sorry for the sniffles. Okay, resistance on this is like 1.8 ohms. So I shall check the voltage. So 4.8. Let's take it down to 4.6, shall we? I'll miss the power down. Power down. 4.6 ohms. 4.6 volts. So that's 4.6 volts on a 1.8 ohm winding. And let's see how she vapes. Uh, so this is the Bully A2 uh, on a Bravari. Um, here goes.
masses of vapour as you can see. What you can't see is the flavour which is phenomenal. I really really like the flavour on this. It's strong, I don't find the air, the draw too airy or too tight. Um, it really is just right. Right amount of flavour, it's, it's a really good atomizer. I just can't fault that. That's uh, fantastic. Uh, again, give my sniffles. Uh, now, there's no doubt you probably gathered that I'm, I'm I'm a fan of this. I'm going to try not to be throughout the whole of this process. I'm going to be as objective as I can. Uh, there are a lot of people who don't like this cartridge arrangement. Um, they simply don't like to use cartridges. This cartridge will hold 1.1 mil of liquid which is the same as a regular uh, tank cartridge. Not a mega tank, a regular tank cartridge. Uh, inside is a regular filler. Um, and what I do find with, with other carts, the way that they work, you know, if you think of a, a 901 or a 510 cart, there comes a time when all the juice from the bottom section goes and to get the better vape and the best out of it you have to take the filler out turn it upside down put it back in uh, and then it vapes nicely again i never ever have had that with this i can put this in as it is and it will vape the entire cart dry when it's not producing any more flavor or vapor i just unscrew fill it up again pop it back in and away you go. Now if I'm going away what I do is I'll carry a few of these pre-filled, ready to go and quite simply just take one out, put it into my bag with em em of empties ready to be filled again, put a fresh one in and away I go. Um, now with this um, drip tip adapter it's opened up. Now without the cart I can quite literally just add it to the top and I can use the A2 as a dripping atomizer. This I'm not, I'm just telling you about, I'm not going to base my scores on this. Uh, maybe in the adaptability section uh, I might allow for this but by, by and large I'm just going to give you uh, as it is for the for the A2 itself, but uh, if I add if I add just a couple of drips down the drip tip, I'll show you how it vapes without the carton. So this is the A2, and using it to drip. See, that vapes for me like a dripping atomizer. A normal like a 510 that you drip into. Well, actually, no, I'd say it, it vapes more like a 306 for me, that. Excellent. Now, what a lot of people used to do before the, uh, the adapter was available, they would just take the cart out and, and tailpipe it. So not use anything at all on the top and drip down it. You can do that, it just doesn't look very nice. Uh, and obviously it's a big, big gap. But it can work that way. All in all then, uh, as you probably gathered already, I do really like the A2. Um, I find it quite aesthetically pleasing. It's simple. It's just a tube, you know. It's uh, it's a nice bit of knurling. the The workmanship is really good. Um, I've had a couple of these. The first one I got was a nine oh one, which I ordered in in error. I thought I'd selected five ten, and I actually ordered a nine oh one. 
these things are extremely popular. Um, the time of doing this video, I think there's, there's a new stock arrived on Bully for a while. Um, it was just a case of popping onto his website, ordering it, and it had come straight away. Because I think he maintains a stock. But recently there's been an increased popularity in these, uh, especially the A2. I think it's as people are catching on to the, the drip tip adapter. Um, overall, a fantastic device. So let's get on to the scores. Um, looks, aesthetic wise, I would give this uh, a 7. I don't think it's as aesthetically pleasing as the Mark T bug, um, which is shiny and it's, it's really nice and sculpted and well made. And this is well made. It is, though, just a tube, um, but then again, you know, there's beauty in the simplicity of the design of this. Um, ease of use, I would also give uh, a 7. Um, there's nothing that you need to, there's nothing too complicated that you need to do. It's quite simply, you know, the, the standard, as I said, uh, way of wiring things up. Once you've, once you've wired up your atomizer, you pop it into the tube, add your cart, and away you go. Um, it doesn't really get much more simple than that. It's certainly not an IATI as far as complications are concerned. It's nice and simple. Flavour. Um, I have to say it. Flavour on this, uh, so far... It's amongst the best that I've tried. Uh, I don't find the flavour too intense. It doesn't um, make the it doesn't over enhance the nicotine um, quantity. You know the, the nicotine. I don't get a sudden nicotine rush. There are no surprises. Basically, um, the flavour of the juice comes through fully. I get what I expect um, full flavour so I'd give that a 9 adaptability um, I have to say that before I got one of the drip tip adapters myself that was about as much as you could do with it It was, you know, other than using it on different mods it wasn't very adaptable the drip tip adapter has opened up a new lease of life for me um, I do prefer to use the cartridge section. Um, I still prefer, you know, from for, for use out and about. I do still prefer it like that with the cart, um, but I'll use it with the drip tip, and you know, I really like it that way. Um, so with with. So adaptability, there's basically there are things you can do with it. You know, there's the the collar, so you can add it to uh, an ego style battery. You know, that's I mean it's not discreet, but it's a little easier to pocket, I suppose, than carrying around a full blown mod. So for adaptability, I will give that a six. It's it's not as versatile as the Mark T bug because it doesn't come with all the bits that you need. Um, however, you can get the bits and make it into something else, um, which for me is great. Value for money. Well, it's not. These things aren't cheap. They're, 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 you can't call repairable atomizers cheap. What they are, though, is a way of saving money ultimately. Because obviously, if you think a regular atomizer is going to cost you, you know, a, a decent one is going to cost you around five pounds. Um, that five pound might last you a day if the atomizer pops unexpectedly. It might last you a month. This is going to last you a lifetime. There are no moving parts. The only thing that you have to keep up on is uh, wick and wire. There's a finite cost with that. You can buy almost a lifetime supply of uh, wire for £15, £16. Pounds. You can buy a stack of wick these days now. Uh, if you take part in, say, like the, the group buy of wick uh, that I put in place in, on UK Vapors and on AAC, um, 
you know, you get about 80 metres, equivalent of 80 metres worth of wick for uh, less than a tenner. That's going to last you for ages. So the running cost, the upkeep on this is minimal. Um, it is for, for other repairable atomizers as well, don't get me wrong, I, I am speaking in general here, but value for money, um, I mean you can just stick with it as it is, it's just really good value for money this, uh, and as such I would give it uh, a 7. It's not the most expensive repairable atomizer out there, um, it's not the cheapest, it's right in the middle as far as the cost is concerned, but it is going to last you a lifetime. I will say as well that I I have a, a friend Blue, who's called Blue Magnum on, on a lot of the forums. He had a, 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 um, a one of one of the bully atomizers. He had it twenty four hours and dropped it while he was out. The thing snapped off the uh, the battery connector. Uh, Set in the guy that makes these uh, and who owns Bully Smoker, he didn't quibble. He took it back, he repaired it, and sent it right on back. No charge. You can't beat that. That's kind of like a lifetime warranty. Although he doesn't say it on the forum, on, on his site, I wouldn't be surprised if, if he would honour um, would honour it brilliant it's going to pay for itself in no time at all um so that gives me um final roundup now of uh seven for looks seven for ease of use nine for flavor six for adaptability seven for value for money uh, which gives me an overall score of seven uh and there we have it, the, uh, the Bully A2 repairable atomizer um, with my drip tip on the end. Um, I just really like it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you found this video to be useful. Uh, in the Next video I'm going to be doing the Bully A2T um, with the Mega Sleeve as well. I'll, I'll do the two together because it's in effect the same atomizer. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Uh, until then, keep on vaping. Bye for now.